A female cop gets caught seducing inmates. Hold on, bro. Because I'm going to need this. This is Charlene O'Banion, a prison officer being accused of sleeping with an inmate. He said I was like soaking through my clothes. After hearing rumors from other with an inmate. He felt me I was like soaking through my clothes. After hearing rumors from other officers that had seen her and Jason Parker together, an investigation Chad, that's was illegal? opened up. Charlene thinks she flew under the radar and she got away. She's got a too, but I still but bust that down. What she know is that the detectives have all the evidence they need, and they're about to expose and embarrass her in the most brutal way possible. You got a lot of that head game. <laughs> oh my God! Right from the start, yeah! Charlene plays innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Right from the start, Charlene plays innocent and pretends she doesn't know anything about the allegations. We're notified of a possible improper relationship between you oh, and uh, Jacob Parker. Here we go again. So we're here for that. And I just kind of want to talk to you about it and get your side of that story. I don't know anything about it. Um, okay. Have you talked to him on any jail phone calls or anything like that? Uh, no. Chad, what type of game do you need to seduce an officer? <laughs> I need that shit. I need that shit, bro. No bullshit. Not at all. Charlene is sure that this will work, but the detectives have much more evidence than they're letting on. And where would you think that this allegation would come from if there's nothing to it? Um, well, I had a feeling this was coming. So there was an inmate um, named Coker, Justin Coker. Mm -hmm. He got out of here for, I don't know, what period of time. And he tried to contact me on Facebook. He Where? sent me a message, and I blocked him on oh, Facebook. Shit. And shit. Here we go again. Um, I guess one time Parker was going back to Equal to use the bathroom, and he was talking like at the window with me. Mm -hmm. And I guess Coker like didn't like that, which I had no contact with him or anything. And um, Parker had told me that he had gone up to him and was like, "Don't talk to her" or something crazy like that. So uh, I'm just. Not trying to be rude here. I'm just. Yeah. Why would you expect this conversation to come up from that? Like now, if that happened a few months ago. Charlene claims that the only time she's had contact with Jason was a single time outside the jail bathroom, and it was a jealous inmate that started the rumor. Wait, chat. Why is that illegal? Why is fucking inmates illegal? Is that really illegal? It is always illegal for prison staff to have sex with inmates. The prison. Our word elimination act is a federal law that makes between an inmate and detention staff a criminal offense. But the detective is about to share some evidence that instantly proves that Charlene is hiding something. I don't know exactly where how it started, like who it started from, um, but I was told that it was brought to somebody's attention and then we looked at jail calls and there's jail calls between you and Parker and all that stuff's recorded. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you're being completely truthful. Well, I, I kind of know that you're not. I had no idea she was illegal. Yeah, uh, just I'm just, just kind of trying to lay out the table for you. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of tell me what's going on? Um, I guess a few years ago, we we talked and then I ended up here and then he ended up here. I didn't know he was here. I didn't like, it wasn't anything like that. Um, Apparently, Charlene and Jason knew each other before prison and Back messed around be before they both ended up here. This led to them joking around with each other here, but nothing Nigga, else. Fuck your baby. Or at least, that's what she claims. In reality, the cops have recorded phone calls from inside the prison Yo! that tell a completely different story. So what about some of these phone conversations? Oh, shit. Um, here we go. No, again. no, not here or the phone. I no, I just mean conversations y'all are having on the phone. No, no. Since he's been in here. Like, like sexual? Well, not. I'm not saying having phone sex. Talking about sexual acts. My, from what I'm listening to on the calls, I take it as that you've given him oral sex at some point. Is what no, I gathered no, from these calls. No, no. no, that was like in the world, but we never like we never dated. We just. Okay. What kind of conversations have you had with him since you started working here and he's been in the jail? Uh, I don't know, just talking about what would happen after he got out. And then the jail call recordings, have you been talking to him like while you're at home? Like he calls you from the jail while you're at home or? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Just 15 minutes into this interrogation, Charlene's original story is seeming less and less like the truth. Suck She's in been prison caught day. in multiple lies, admitted to having sexual relations with Jason in the past, and calling him regularly from her own home. This is highly irregular behavior for a prison officer, and it doesn't take a genius to realize something deeper may be going on. But the detective has some more questions pertaining to some more physical evidence. I haven't listened to this, but apparently there may be some talk in the oh, calls about like, photographs. Have you given him any photographs? Photographs. Mm -hmm. I gave him a photograph of his mom, which he had asked for, and of his dog, Jax. Okay. Yeah. Have you given him any photographs of you? Hmm. No, because... So one of the things we're going to be doing is like looking at cameras and stuff too. Has there been any times where y'all were alone? Mm -hmm. Or you go out of camera view or anything like that? Anything that's going to look suspicious that way? I don't think so. It's important to remember that sh if these niggas pull out a camera view of this bitch sucking this nigga's dick, yo, oh my fucking god, it's over. Charlene has worked at this prison over, for a nigga. while now, and as such, will know all the ins and outs of everything, such as security do it? camera blind spots and patrol officer schedules. Dude, You'd think that with all this knowledge, it'd be easy to hide a relationship with an inmate, but it seems that she forgot about a few vital pieces of information. Not least the facts that all phone calls placed from the prison are recorded. But thanks to the detectives, she's about to be reminded of this fact in a devastating oh. way. Hey, baby. Got that. Baby, guess what? What, baby? I just won the blackjack game. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I just won, I just won $30. <clears throat> I got a lot of stuff to clean and get rid of before you come home. <laughs> I'm just fucking you. I was trying to make you think I have all these secret things. Yeah, I bet you do. What? 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 What do you mean? I don't know. You probably got this weird sex swing hanging from the ceiling. Can't probably think it's a swing set. Oh, if I had that sex swing, you better believe I'd leave that sucker up for you. Oh, shit. Oh, you really? Go again. Hell yeah. Damn! Yeah, let me put you in it. Yeah. With a gag bar and everything? <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, you freaking fuck you freaking yeah, baby! <laughs> Yo, I need her. Where's she at? Listening to your own voice can be bad enough for some people, but listening to your own yeah, sexual yeah, phone good. calls in silence with two detectives in the room as you realize you've just been caught red handed has got to be worse than any prison sentence there is. Yo, good, man? However, with the language they've used so far, there's no evidence that the pair have actually engaged in any sexual acts. Work. But that changes quickly as Jason begins to directly incriminate Charlene Ew. on the call. I just want you to look at me sometimes and be like, damn, my woman's fine. Really, is it? Fine is lying. Fine mm -hmm. is And you got a, a live ass fucking head game. Oh, my God. <laughs> eh, it wasn't my best moment. I was just trying to get it done. Are you in bed? Don't even get me thinking about that because it makes me so horny. Like just going back and thinking about yeah. that. I get you horny? Oh, yeah. When you felt me, I was like soaking through my clothes. You get very horny very easy. I don't even want to have not sex. Good. Like that's not even. Not good. Right I, mean, fuck, fuck, I just like look at someone. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. No, like of course, like I only get horny for you. You kind of see how that sounds oh, from like my Here point of view. Again. Like a more recent thing than three years ago. No? The audacity she has to say no after hearing that phone call is truly remarkable. But to her credit, she's not going down easily. The detectives try asking her if she thinks Jason would cover for her, and she still doesn't break, sticking to her story that everything that happened happened outside of prison. Technically, this oh, story shit. could still be true with this phone call, but it definitely is odd for the couple to be recounting events from over three years ago in such detail, especially when earlier she struggled to remember any details about the relationship. You talk about how profound this was. Like, just giving him this blowjob. I need her. Like, don't head ass. What the fuck? About anything about it. It's like a, 
telling me something, but you're having trouble coming up with details about it, you know what I mean? Like if it's that profound. I mean, I gave him a blowjob. How, how do you describe the blowjob? I mean, is that well, what you want Well, I don't want to know, like, about the blowjob. I'm just, yeah. so if this is a factual I, thing that happened three years ago, I feel like you would kind of remember some stuff about it. Like, I yeah, feel like, I mean, like we said, in the car, we, you know. Like, when I asked you who was there, him, of course, like, when y'all met or whatever, and then when I asked, like, who else, you said it was, like, a bunch of friends. Yeah. But like you can remember Chay, I you know, my after you Chris. think about it for 30 seconds. So yeah, I mean, that's not making sense to me. You seem to have blanks in your memory when we get to certain details, but you remember being groped in the blowjob from three years ago. Damn. I find that hard to believe. Okay? This is your one chance to be honest with us. Yes. Once we get up and walk out and we're done, mm -hmm. we're done. Have y'all had any inappropriate contact, whether it's groping, blowjobs, Vaginal, anal sex, anything, hand jobs. Yes, I am being vulgar to get a point across. Yeah, no, it's not. None of that. Just as the detectives say, things really aren't adding up. Yet she's still sticking to her story, or at least she was, before a switch flipped and she said this. And what is it? Uh, I might have given him a blowjob in the back part of the. In the back part of the collect? Okay. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? Uh. Uh -huh. The secret's out, and Charlene has confessed. But this matter is more complex than it may seem. In cases of officer-inmate relations, the main question that arises is the issue of consent. Given that Jason and Charlene knew each other prior to being in prison, it's not wrong to assume that consent went both ways in this interaction. However, in these cases, that's actually completely irrelevant. According to a 2005 report, federal law criminalizes all sexual relations and contact between prison staff and inmates, and that all sexual relations between staff and inmates are considered abuse, even if the act would have been considered consensual if what? it occurred outside of a prison. Uh. This is because of the huge amount of inmate abuse that was observed in prisons. Uh. In 1996, it was estimated that between 12 and 14% of all prison inmates had been sexually assaulted, and the officers were rarely punished. So to prevent this, a zero tolerance policy was introduced to try and prevent abuse towards inmates. A policy, it seems, that Charlene completely ignored. I'm gonna ask, but I feel like I know the answer. I'm losing my job. So that's that's not really up to me. Um, Internal Affairs is aware. Investigation is separate from ours because mm -hmm. there's it's, it's two totally different um, things. So yeah. What kind of charges? Like so, it's it's illegal to have sexual contact with an inmate as an employee. How many so, years? Um, I said the ball kind of be in their court, but I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. Um, I mean, can I go to jail? That's up to the DA's office. As it turns out, Charlene would lose her job, and the only time she'd ever be allowed back in jail would be for the 100 days that she'd be made to serve after being found guilty of sexual activity with a person That's not in bad. It could have been oh. worse, chat. It could have been way worse. I'm not going to hold y'all, chat. It could have been way worse. It could have been way worse. No bullshit, bro. I need to go to jail. Yo, shut your freak ass up, nigga. Baby. Baby, you pick up to me. I just been left by my chain. I just want him.